Alrighty guys, welcome. I'm kind of late in the game. Minecraft Story Mode Season 2, a Telltale series. And the reason why I was uh, behind is because I was in Maui. Maui with La Familia, with my family. So, anyways, I'm back. Good to be back. And uh, without much further ado, let's go ahead and do this and uh, check out this Minecraft Story Mode. Pretty excited. Checking. Alrighty, episodes. Alrighty, choose. Continue to your story. Import save number two. That's mine. Oh, look at this. Choose your appearance. Okay, I, I look. I would say I look more yellowish. Alright, let's start episode one. It's just slider. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that looks good. That looks Gucci. Hopefully, my pig comes back to life. What was his name? Like Ham, or something like that. I forgot his name now. My little, my little pig. The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. So make sure you make the right choices. I always yeah. like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing oh. exciting will ever happen to them. Those are the kind of heroes in this story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck, and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other, and working together, they struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world, and their legend their fame just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Oh, uh-huh. Oh, what part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. Well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. I had been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but uh, next year. I can't believe it's founding day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um. Hey. Come on, guys, we all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. Yeah. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Well, this has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. Jesse? Oh, hey, Radar. Oh. Gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, you, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Right, oh, right. Awesome. I kind of liked it. So what's up? I got a message from Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. 
Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for? Yeah, I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the Order Hall with the Order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. So, the other towns have Founding Day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. See you, Jesse. I really appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I so am excited. just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and... Living in the coolest town in the whole world, Beacon Town. That's right, dude. Oh, look at that! It's so sharp. Oh boy. that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. Yeah, but being out there, adventuring, that's good too. I mean, I guess. I've never really been the adventuring type myself. Too, uh, too dangerous. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but... I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Alrighty, let's go uh, to the mines. Alrighty, can walk faster. Jesse, dude! No, I thought you were out seeing the worlds. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person. But sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? Which... I thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool! Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business! So I gotta make a statue for you, man? I'm a leader, dude. I'm... Ah, a blank canvas. Make. 
<laughs> I don't know what I'm making you, dude. It's gonna look horrible. Yeah, look at that. I don't know what I'm making, but whatever. I'm done. That is some sweet work. <laughs> nice. It's art. Oh, Jesse, dude, thanks. It's called art. It was my pleasure. Well, it is an honor, mi amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free-spirited. <laughs> yeah, kind of reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the... Mineshaft. Mm-hmm. Whoa! Oh, Wink, <gasps> get back here. Leave Jesse alone. Hello there, Jesse. I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. Well, it's so great to see you. We need to hang out. That sounds wonderful. Yeah, totally. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse. Give him a bone and he'll calm right down. All right, here's a bone. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're gonna need to tame a wolf. Well, thanks. I imagine you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on, because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. All right, let's get to the cave. Nobody bother me, please. Oh, no. Oh, oh his name is Ruben. Oh, is it Ruben? Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. That's oh, man. I wish I could have met Ruben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. Yeah, he was my best friend. Still miss him. Aww. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Uh, would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. I would love to. Seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy cute cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> I know, they all look my the best same. to bring the pigs that felt the most. I like the name Ruben Smushy is. Cute Cheeks. I'm a Smushy Cute Cheeks fan. He's just got that vibe. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. Congratulations. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready, and I'll see you at the celebration. Bye. Oh, I see her. Jesse! No! Leave me alone! Here. No! Ah! Dang it. I gotta talk to him. Well, hey, hey! Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey, guys, what are you doing? I'm glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Sounds dangerous. Want to give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? Yep. It's really cool. Oh, guys, I'm really sorry. My friend Petra is waiting for me. I gotta run. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, that's all right. It's all right. <laughs> Next time, I guess. Yeah. I feel kind of bad now. Come and get in. Can I go this way? Oh, great. Oh, 
great. Hey, ready? Hey, bitch. Jesse! Jesse! Give me five! Day made! You're my hero! Alright, whatever. And here we are at the mines. Nice. Thanks for walking with me. Of course. I wish we could have helped a couple more people get ready. I mean, founding day is all about how you took down the wither storm and all. I'll, uh, keep watch on things here while you're gone. Off doing your adventure things. Got all the faith in the world, buddy. You got this. Thanks, Jesse. I won't let you down. It's better not. Bye! Fire! Have a good time! Don't I always? 